right, hey guys. All right, I'm coming to you with my favorite sidekick right here, Miss Autumn. And she is gonna be helping me out today by showing you how we are gonna draw from observation. What are we drawing, Autumn? Um, a, 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 a. <laughs> Go back up. A cardinal. <laughs> a cardinal. So we are gonna be drawing and shading a cardinal, and she is in fourth grade too like you guys and so we are going to be doing that together right yeah all right stay tuned all right artists let me introduce you to Jean Audubon he was born in 1785 to 1851 and he was a French American painter who created life-size paintings of American birds in their habitat engaging in daily routines he was kind of like a scientist, a scientist artist that would scavenger around and look at the wildlife and nature around him. We could say he was one of U.S.'s first wildlife artists. His work helped clarify bird names and identify birds that had not been described or named before. He tried to paint the male, female, and young of species because the plumage and shapes were often very different from each other. He needed careful observation skills when he was drawing each animal. His field notes and his observations helped add to understanding of birds, their routines, and their habitat. Audubon enjoyed drawing and painting all of the animals in North America that surrounded his home in Pennsylvania but his favorite creatures to capture in his artwork were birds. Audubon left a priceless legacy about what our country and its wildlife were like in the late 1700s. He explored frontier areas of America. He painted and wrote about birds that no longer exist today. His journals, letters, and books contain information about the people he met, his thoughts, and his observations of nature. So I've been using my observational skills as I've gone out and I've walked in nature. And what I noticed, and you probably have too, is there are some beautiful red cardinals out there that we have in North Carolina. If we are going to use our scientific skills, we would be closely observing and watching what was around us so that we can document what we see in nature. So follow along with me as we draw maybe one of these cardinal images or what an image of a bird that you see out in your backyard. All right, let's talk about quickly the supplies that you're going to need. You're going to need paper, pencil, an eraser, and something to color with. That could be colored pencils like I am going to be using. I want you to pause this video and go gather your supplies. All right, you should have your supplies now out on the table. Let's begin by looking at our bird very closely. I'm gonna show you how we're gonna draw our bird using basic shapes. Now what I mean by that is when I look at something, I break it down in the most simplest shapes possible. Circles, triangles, squares, rectangles. And this forms the start of all of my drawings. So I do a simple, very simple sketch at the very beginning anytime I draw anything that I am using my observational skill so I'm drawing what I see in front of me. As I look at my cardinal right now I can see I can break him up into a large oval for his body, a small circle for his head, and a triangle for its tail and I have all of these set at specific angles as you can see in my dotted line represented here. Let's try that out in our sketchbook first. Okay. All right. So I think we're all set up. And you should have your paper and your pencils. And we are looking at the cardinal. So if you will look at the picture of the cardinal right now as you work, we are going to make a circle for the head. So probably up in the top left hand corner and yeah the way autumn's doing it is good so you draw keep drawing circles until you get that circle the way that you want it 
and then I'm going to draw a oval. Now remember, we're looking at the directional angle of the way that body's positioned. So it's kind of like at a slight diagonal, we're going to be drawing that oval. So you need a, it's larger than our circle for the body. And again, I can use the same approach that Autumn was using. I'm going to keep doing that oval until I get it the way that I want to. So we're not thinking complicated. This is the way why I like this technique because we're not thinking of all the details that we could get wrapped up in first. We're just thinking about circles, squares, triangles, or whatever those shapes are that are in the object. And then we're going to focus on a tr long triangle. This will be where the tail is. And if you look at the picture, it's going to be at the same directional angle as the body itself. So we have that long triangle. So nothing is complicated at this point. Oval, circle, and a triangle is all we have. Now I like to start with going for the head after this. So if you notice, if we look at the head of a bird, and right we're thinking about the cardinal, I'm thinking about a triangle that's coming out from that main circle that I have right here. So I'll just draw that circle, I mean that triangle. Then I notice right across from that triangle is where I'm gonna have another circle for the eye. And bird's eyes are pretty small. For the size of its head. So we just draw another little circle right there. It's starting to kind of look like a bird at this point. Good job, Autumn. Good. All right. Now, if we notice, like Audubon, when he's looking, the plumage or the, the feathers, cardinals are very um, interesting because they have a large spike that's at the top. I need to adjust my photo so I can see a little better. You can do it like this, and then you could go like, I'm gonna cut it out like this, so you can. Oh yeah, you could do it. another triangle right here. So if we didn't want to do too many of those little feathers at the very top, we can just do a couple of those at the very top. Kind of looks like a chicken right now, mm -hmm. but we'll get to that. So we have that circle. The other thing that's characteristic, if I look really closely with my observation skills, is if I look over here, I'm gonna notice that there is a large black shape that's coming in for this um, cardinal. And I'm gonna go ahead and start drawing that large shape. That's gonna be the black area right here. Now, it's not just a circle and then an oval. What we have is, is we have some of that feather from his chest coming down right here to meet the oval. And then on the back of his neck, it kind of softens up right here so I can draw those lines right there. And then next, let's go in and let's go redefine. When, when we work in um, drawing, we call these large outlines that we have around um, an object contour lines. So right now we're kind of defining the contour lines. Okay. Yes, very good, Autumn. So again, we have to really look closely at something. Don't draw what you think you see. That's when we mess up. We have to draw exactly what is in front of us as we draw. All right, now I'm just redefining his feathers a little bit. All right, so he's looking pretty good. I don't have any value on there. I'm just working on the contour lines a little bit. I did come in on the inside right here to draw a little bit of his wing that's coming up. Now I'm gonna start working on his legs. Now, when we're looking outside, a, um, a cardinal could be perched on a fence. So if you want to draw a fence that he's sitting on, I have mine sitting on a log. Oh, and if I look very closely, for the first time, I get to really study these feet, these long kind of like fingers that he has that kind of grasp on to whatever he's sitting on. And they look like they have long toenails, don't they, Autumn? Mm -hmm. They look like they have really long, like creepy toenails, if I look very closely. I can imagine when 
Audubon was working back in the early 1800s and he was really studying some of these animals. He had to go off some far remote places and he had to be very patient waiting for them, these animals to come up. He didn't have a camera like I had to capture a photo of a bird. He was able to just sit and wait and really patiently study what he was seeing. All right, so I have these feet. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to start working on this, the rest of this, kind of like a, uh, the log that he's sitting on. It could be a small branch. Another cool thing, if you notice the very top of this log, what makes it look realistic is the top of the log is an oval. Kind of makes it look realistic like it's been cut off. All right. Now, as an artist, I look back at my drawing and I think that looks pretty good, but in all honesty, my bird could be a little plumper. So I haven't spent too much time on this sketch. So if I wanted to come back in and refine it a little bit more, I've also drawn very lightly. And the purpose for that, when you draw lightly, is that if we want to come in and erase, mm -hmm. we can, right? Yeah. Yeah, we can come in and erase what we've done. But pretty good. I can also come in here, because I did those very beginning lines, I can come in and erase those now. If I feel pretty good about what I've done, then I can come in and kind of erase some of these things. Nice. All right, now, if you want to, this is all you have is pencil, you can come in now and just darken up some of these with a darker value in here, because you know the, the cardinal has like a dark area right here. You could come in and draw a little bit more of the lines for that uh, beak. And then I can darken up his eye. And you could also put some shadows down here because if I notice underneath his wing, there's a little bit of shadows and definitely down here, it's much darker at the bottom. So again, I'm just drawing some little light lines. That will help me really remember what that I was seeing when I was looking at that, the bird. Alright, but if you have colored pencils, I didn't have red. Oh, you've got it right here. If I have colored pencils, then I can come in and I can add in those colored pencils. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to speed up the video and you can be able to see that I've come in and I've shaded my cardinal in with all of those beautiful bright. Oh, for extra bonus points, do you think this is a male or female on them? Um, uh, female. And it is a male. Male cardinals are bright red. Female cardinals are they are actually like, they may have a little bit of red on them, but not much at all. They're mainly a brown, a light brown. So that's the way that we know this is a male cardinal, is that he is bright red.
All right. You know so that. as we're finishing up, it looks like, you know, we've came in, we've added our red, and I brought in a little bit of more like an orange, and so did Autumn, in the beak area right here. And I noticed because I was using these twistables or crayons or stuff, it was hard to get some detail. So we came in and like Autumn's finishing up and she's crisping up her edges and she's bringing in some um, Sharpie marker in here, which is an awesome choice so that we can add some of that crispness that it's hard to get with crayons because they're so big and thick and they got a lot of texture in them. And down here you can see where it's really, really dark red. I had to bear down really hard with my crayon in order to get that and I lightened up in some areas because as I was looking, using my observation skills, and I saw um, the bird, I saw that the light was hitting right back here, which we know if light hits here, we have shadows underneath on the belly, so it got very much darker. So I can bear down hard with my crayon to achieve that, and I can also bring in some blacks. Even trying in, and I was telling Autumn that sometimes you can come in with a color, like a cool color like this, like blue, because sometimes our shadows will have some blue in them, so it adds a really interesting effect in your colors. If you come in and you add some cools for in here in your shadow areas, like the blue. And then I just give a little bit of detail to show that my bird was resting on this um, tree branch and stump right here. So I put in a little bit of details, but oh and oh, do we have a good time? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that was awesome. So I challenge you to go out and after you finish your cardinal picture and you think about what's around us in North Carolina, what other types of plants and animals can you draw using your observation skills?